welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to show you how to create these indoor playhouses. I have a roofed version as well as a non-roofed version which looks like it is two-story. Not two-story on the inside but it sort of could be if you added a platform. So let's jump into the tutorial. For the first version of this, this is going to be the non-roofed version, I'm going to go ahead and create a room just using a normal wall this can be any size you want i'm just doing a two by three because it looks like a nice size so super super simple and then go ahead and pin however you want um just make it look like it's an outdoor house um or whatever you like i'm doing this slats on this one you could do it brick if you want or you could do masonry it is up to you so for this next part you will need cats and dogs we're gonna go ahead and go to the doors section and I just fill it to cats and dogs just because it makes it so much easier to find these doors because nobody can ever find them and you can also use the my first stuff my first pet stuff pack as well because there is a door from that and we're gonna use the doggy doors because toddlers can totally walk through these I'm unsure about the small doors whether infants can go through these because I've heard they can but I haven't tested it myself. But yeah, any of these bigger doors that I've placed down will work. I'm just gonna use the one from the My First Pet Stuff Pack, just cause it's quite modern looking and I wanna do sort of modern looking house instead of like this sort of one over here. Ignore the roof, it's cause I changed the wall height, but it's a bit more of an older style. And then we're gonna go for windows. And I'm gonna use one from Cottage Living because they have some really nice small windows, but you can use this sort of style of window as well from the Cats and Dogs stuff pack, which you will already have if you have the doggy doors. And But yeah, the Cottage Living ones are like perfect because they're really, really small. But any windows will work, again, as long as they're quite small. I'm just going to place a few of these around the house. I'm going to place four on the front and two on the side, but just do it as however you want. This design, it can be any which way you want. As long as it's got the doggy, doggy door, it will work for toddlers. So I place four on the front there and two on the side. And now I'm going to make it look a little bit more like a home by adding some little extra things. So if we go to the wall sculpture section, which is this little bit under the windows, I have a lot of debug items here, so just ignore the mess that is all this stuff. Um, there are some really cute things you can use on the outside of the house. Obviously, it depends on which packs you have. I really like using the drain pipes, which I think are from Get Together. And I find it's better to use one of the super tall ones instead of the regular height ones, just so you can size them down and it makes things just look a bit more in proportion because they're a bit skinnier. If you don't know how to size down, if you're on a PC, you use the square bracket keys. If you are on console, go ahead and hold the two shoulder buttons and it's left and right on the D-pad to size up and down. So I know this awning doesn't really suit this style, but you can go in with an awning just to make it look a bit more homely. Um, not all awnings will work. Do bear this in mind. If you place one down and your toddler can somehow not get in, it's because some awnings don't let you walk under it if it's too low down. Uh, but this one from, I don't even remember what pack this is from. Is it from Cats and Dogs? It's from Cottage Living. Um, but the Cats and Dogs one works also. So I've just sized that down as well. And then I'm going to add a little balcony. I really like adding balconies. Again, it just makes it look a bit more shapely instead of just being a square box or a rectangle box. And I've just sized it down and I'm going to use a free placement. If you don't know what that is, if you hold alt, you get free placement. Um, for this, you will need bb.move objects turned on. I don't actually know what free placement is on console. Somebody did tell me before and I really can't remember. I do apologize. And again here, I'm just going to go around and get some flower boxes for the front of the windows just to make things look a bit cuter and it just adds some detail. So now for the roofed version, we're going to use a half wall. I think I'm using the 1.75 wall height here. I could be wrong. I can't remember. And for this, I am doing a two by three. This just will make things a lot easier when it comes to roofing because of what you have to use to roof is the perfect size. Go ahead and add your windows and doors in where you want. And I'm doing this one single story, but you can make it look double storied. You would just need to use the medium or tall wall height which as you can tell, the cafe that I made on the right hand side there looks a bit weird, but it's because I changed the wall height so the roof has disappeared, but it did have a taller wall height. So I'm just going to do exactly the same thing with decorating it as well. 
They're now gonna use the cats and dogs awning. It is the substantially shingled awning um, or something. I didn't read it in time. I'm just gonna place that down so I've got it. And then I'm gonna draw a normal wall through the center of that. And we can just snap this awning to it and then remove the wall. The best way to remove the wall is using the sledgehammer tool and deleting it like this because it won't delete the actual roof. If you click on it and delete, it might delete the roof. And then I'm just copying it and then I'm going to have to delete all of the walls that are the same way just because it'll stop it snapping. So I've deleted those walls and now you should be able to raise this up, which you use either 9, Control 9 or Alt 9 if you're on PC to raise an item. Or if you're on console, go ahead and hold the two shoulder buttons and it is up on the D-pad. So I'm just placing that and then you can place all your walls back in and your paint will have disappeared so go ahead and repaint everything and decorate however you would like so i do sort of know a way on how to make a base game version but it has to be single story only to look right um so let me know if you want that the roof also doesn't look the best in the base game version because the awnings there's only one that works so it's not the best but I can make a base game version if you want just let me know down below and I will try fix it to make it look the best I possibly can um, but yeah just go ahead and decorate however you like and the only issue with the half wall version is when you put the walls down like this you can see the half walls don't go down so you can't click on it but you have to go around the back to be able to click on any items in there and you can put beds and stuff in there so if you did this and it wasn't against a normal wall you wouldn't be able to access the inside. So do bear that in mind. That's why I've done it up against a wall. Also, if you want to lock toddlers in here, um, you can because toddler, these doggy doors can't be locked to toddlers. So sorry for all you guys that wanted to do that. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.